Piera versus Adesanya. I mean, 2022 as a whole is the year that I didn't know I needed for MMA. Dana White specifically is doing business so different in 2022 than Dana White did business in 2001, just by example. Then he did business in 2005. Then he did business last year. It's a very different year. Now, was to, if I was to tell you that two strikers are going to make it to the finals, think of it like a bracket. You got one striker cleans out one side of the bracket, and you got the other striker cleans out the other side of the bracket, and they're going to fight for a world championship. You're probably going to tell me I'm misunderstanding. You're probably not going to believe that. If I was going to tell you that a guy had five fights in the UFC and was going to headline Madison Square Garden and fight for a world championship, you're probably going to tell me, aside from Conor McGregor, possibly Brock Lesnar, it wasn't done, we could just fantasize, that that can't be done. I'm going to agree with you. If you're going to tell me that somebody is going to be 5-0 and oh in the UFC fighting for a world championship after cleaning out a different side of the bracket that is only striking-based, and they're going to do it without talking, let me stop you right there. That is not going to happen would be my response that would turn out to be false. Alex Pierre. How we got here and, and, and what we're doing, I mean, one of the great stories that in large part is untold is the history in the past of Piera and Adesanya. What do you make of a match where you have two kickboxers? They for sure are going to go out and they are going to kickbox each other for a unified championship. There is no double leg. There is no big takedown that either one of them possesses. Aside from the fact of the ego damage if they went out and did. Now, I don't have a problem with that. I've got no problem. you got Surreal Gone and Francis Ngannou, these two really great strikers, and Francis goes and takes him down. I have no problem with that. I'm sharing for you, neither one of these guys possesses that tool. They both, as far as wrestling went, worked on the same thing, which is defense. I'm going to defend wrestling. I'm going to stand up right here. I'm just sharing for you. This is a very wild match, and we haven't really gotten a breakdown. And I wanted to hear, I want to hear from the Rufus boys. I want to hear, I want Maurice Smith to come back. I want Marco Huas. I want these guys that have a level of success in striking within our sport, no matter at what part, to come and tell us what we should expect. The most that I've gotten, literally the most that my years have taken in is Daniel Cormier, a wrestler, saying if Piera, who knocked out on Asanya with the big gloves and kickboxing, gets to put on little gloves, he knows he's got the power to knock him out. He knows he can knock him out with the big pillows on his hands. When he takes them out and puts on four-ounce MMA gloves, imagine how confident Piera is going to be. I like it. I like what Daniel said. I thought that would invoke a back and forth. I mean, the fact that the only thing that has ever come to my ears that weighs in on this contest came from a wrestler. There's a miss by the kickboxing community, but there has always been a miss. The Muay Thai community, I don't even know what that is. I don't know. I mean, there's a few people that type something online, but they think that they're a community. And I say this not begrudgingly. I've got a jujitsu black belt. Nobody ever came and watched me compete. I came from a wrestling background. I know what it's like to have no fans. Believe me. But even wrestling would dwarf the kickboxing community and to not have a single member or representative there to for to come forward and speak up on what she was... I mean, I just feel as though this is a miss. Now, let me tell you something about Alex Pierre, because he's only spoken five times. Told you he's had five fights. Well, he spoke once for each fight. I remember everything he said. He's very interesting to me. I wish that he would do more. Now, Adesanya is a masterful entertainer. 
Adesanya will, will speak five times in one day on the right day. He's a master of the art. We get it. Tell me more about this Pierre guy. So he's spoken five times. I remember all five things. Guess what he just said recently? You want to know what Pierre said? And see, this is very different. This is where, where big parts of the story aren't being told. This is a huge thing. Pierre said, Adesanya hasn't thought about me. He left kickboxing. He never thought about me again. He never thought he would see me again. I thought about Adesanya every single day that I've gone to bed for the last four years. Really? The guy who won. Not only the guy who won, Piera. Piera's won twice. They fought twice. Piera won twice. For some of you, that's redundant. For some of you, you're hearing it for the first time. But the winner, the two-time winner, is the one wanting the rematch and thinking about the opponent. That's interesting to me. Why? Well, Piero went on. I was better. I, I, I had a better art. People didn't know me. I didn't make money. I didn't get a fight on pay-per-view. I didn't go become famous. I didn't go become wealthy, and I feel that I'm better. So I had to follow him over here, and I'm going to go take what he's got. Okay, great. You know what? You've, you've got my interest, though. That's very compelling. The guy that wins doesn't generally taste the other guy for any reason. And now when you're talking about fame and money, you're talking about jealousy. You're talking about envy. The corrupt desire to possess something somebody else has. You're talking about envy. That's powerful stuff. Piera literally has not done anything that I don't personally find interesting. He's also never trash talked. He's about to fight for a world championship five times up to bat. Put a perspective for you that that's less time, meaningfully less time than Chemayev has had. Who hasn't gotten a title fight? I mean, just to put it in perspective for you, how few five is. He's also going to headline a sold-out Madison Square Garden. I mean, there's a lot of things on this that you best be studying. And you guys think you come to jail and jail tells you to trash talk. I've never trash talked once in my life, and I've never told you to trash talk. I hear people telling me that I'm too in to WWE. I'm not. I, I don't watch it. I did as a kid. I don't hide from that. I'm just sharing for you. That's wrong. Professor Chael sits here and class is in session for somebody to come away thinking Chael's telling you you got to be a WWE character or you've got to talk trash. Why do you got to talk trash? Why? you got to be interesting. That part's true. It's a journey and you need people to come along and there's going to be bumps in the road. And fighters are going to have people jump off the bandway. you got to be smart enough to keep them on the journey, including for the bumps in the road. I encourage those things. Alex Pierre just put out an Instagram video. Okay? He's spoken five times. I remember all five. He just put out an Instagram video. He kicks a soccer ball into the air, shoots it with a bow and arrow while it's in the air. I don't know that he said a word. My volume was down in all fairness. He could have cut a promo for all. I did not hear a word and I didn't need to. I rewound it and watched it again. And I rewound it and watched it again. Kicked a ball into the air. Archery skills. Took a bow and arrow. Shot. That's interesting. That's my only point. I'm just sharing for you guys. Like that is really of interest. If you don't have the ability to do things like that, and I would trust that you don't. My message to you is not to go out and to learn archery so you can do something for a video. That is where we would default to a little lower hanging fruit. We would come out with a storyline. We'd come out with something interesting to say. Gira has me interested in him fighting at Madison Square Garden for a unified belt in the Ultimate Fighting Championship against a nemesis. And he did that by kicking a soccer ball into the air and shooting it with an arrow. 